right, you know it's gonna be an awesome, awesome shoulder day when the warm up is that good. Warm up, I'm nice and sweating right now. So we're gonna jump into our first set, first super set actually, of our strict overhead press and our face pulls. This is gonna be, a, oh, I can already tell. It's gonna be a great workout. If you guys aren't subscribed to the channel, do that right now. All right guys, here we go. First exercise, just an overhead barbell press. Now this looks pretty standard. You can see straight up, I'm not using any momentum, so it's not a push press, I'm trying to go straight up over my head. We're doing 12, 10, eight, six on this, all based off of one, my one rep max here. So this is the first set of 12, just hard enough to where those final few reps are rough. Superset that with a face pull. Face pull obviously just offsetting that anterior movement we were just doing with some posterior delt. Squeezing, trying to get that rope to my forehead. I'm bouncing maybe a little bit too much here. All right, back to our second set here. Just moving up in weight, decreasing in reps. Still supersetting with 12 reps on these face pulls. So the face pulls are always 12 reps. Getting heavier almost all the way to my last set here, this is our second to last. Back and forth, 90 seconds rest in between these. So after I finish my face pulls, I get 90 seconds rest. Boom, last set here. Oh, you can see it's the failure here. Get it, get it, get it. Oh, that's a grinder right there. That is how you know your programming is working. And then this is our last set of 12 right here before moving on. Okay, next up, we have our behind the neck press. As you can see, I have my, back, my back is supported. Uh, I'm pressing it up, um, and it's actually going away from my, my head as I press up. So what we're trying to do is get enough stretch down there at the bottom that we have full range of motion. We're supersetting that with our off the knee. So each one of the things we do, we have a compound lift with more of a shoulder health exercise. And doing this, I'm not burning out, you know, I'm not taxing my shoulders, working some rotator cuff muscles here, some small stabilizing muscles with that superset. So again, 12 on here, just like we did. Um, and then 10, eight, six on behind the neck. So this is our set of 10 here, or it's actually 12, 10, eight. Straight back into our off the knee for 12, each arm for 12. And it's heavy enough to where, you know, I'm tired. It's hard at the end of it. So our set of eight here, Big thing, full range of motion. You know it's legit when that neck vein starts popping out. Got to keep the shoulders healthy. Last set, best set. Let's go. Okay, from there, we're straight into our dumbbell upright row. 12, 10, 8 here. Keeping the elbows wide, pulling up high. I'm not trying to swing, trying to keep that core tight. Again, keeping the lats pinched down and back, straight into our incline lateral raise here. So our, our lateral raise here, we want the elbows, wrists, and shoulders tried to all be in a line, and I'm slightly pointing my, my hands down like I'm pouring out a pitcher of water. <sighs> These two. This is gonna work posterior delt here a little bit, um, along, with, along with some anterior delt. This is mo mostly our medial head. Um, so <sighs> shoulder pump, shoulder pump check. When I get pumped up, I lose all definition, but it is what it is. I just, my muscle insertions, it's all about muscle inser insertions to make th things look very round and full. Trying to just stay in it here. Painful, painful set. After this, we're into our lying, our incline lying post posterior delt exercise, our, our rear delt. So as you can see here, this is, I'm trying to continue to turn my elbows down. Pinkies high, 12 reps here. I'm not having to do a ton of weight. Straight into cable lateral raise in front of the body. So I'm angled away, and I told you guys I was gonna do this. I just like the angle it puts me out with gravity and the cable coming into play. Trying to keep as, my arms as straight as possible on these. Um, when you start talking about levers and where you're putting in the most for force and tension, now this obviously is gonna put you at the highest risk of injury. But that's why we're stabilizing with the shoulders or stabilizing with the chest here. And then here, it's obviously it's a cable movement. So we can't get too crazy. All right, that is it. That's it for the workout besides our cardio and stretching that we have. But we have a bonus, an extra credit, if you will, bus drivers. So this one, 
We're gonna superset this with a, uh, a, another exercise. It's kind of like a hybrid between a lateral raise. Um, so we have bus drivers, front raise, turn to each side, bring down, bring up again, and then turn to the alternate side. So we got 10 reps, and then we'll go on to our, our next exercise. We just have two sets of these, circuit fashion. Here we go. Um, so kind of leveled out my weight the last time I weighed in on this the first time I weighed in was a week and a half ago And it was at 214 then at the end of the week I weighed 220 point something and then today weighing in 220.8 so kind of leveled out a little bit um, I think what I did is I wasn't wasn't eating when I first weighed in like I wasn't following a program I was eating sporadically. I've been on my macros, which pretty much tells me um, the macros I kind of set forward when I, so I, I first set my macros on the app and now I've been pretty much just main, maintaining. The last week I've been maintaining my weight, which is a good sign. Now I can then start going up. Once you find your maintenance weight, once you find what it is that you need to just maintain what you're currently at with your workouts, with your cardio, then it's easy just to bump calories up as need be. So I want to I wanna gain about a half pound a week. Um, so I'm gonna probably bump up my calories 250 on average, 250 each day. Now that might mean, you know, 500 one day, none I might come back 500 the next day, but an average of 250 for those seven days. If I do that, I should gain about a half pound a week. So um, next week, we'll come back and see if I'm at, the goal is to be 221, you know, 221.4, 221.4, five in there uh, I'd be happy with that so all right how's our shoulder day I'm having a hard time holding up the camera thanks for watching I could go do mobility now fun fun